Hello Beach Pumps, welcome back to the channel. I want to start out by just saying it's a beautiful day. I'm happy to be out here on the beach today. I'm excited to fish. I'm excited to experience the beach in February and it's like a warm day. It's like 60 something degrees. I'm still in my waders because I am getting in the water and the water is still cold. But thank you so much for just subscribing and watching these videos. I don't take it for granted how amazing this opportunity is and that's because of you guys. And I probably don't say it enough, but I really do appreciate it. It's really cool that you guys tune in and watch these videos. It really means a lot to me. It means a lot to my family. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you take something away from it. I hope it gives you something to smile about. I hope you learn some things. Just very appreciative of your company while I'm out here enjoying the beach. It's winter time and I'm hoping for a black drum. I've been out here a few times and have not successfully landed a black drum. There are some around. Hopefully this afternoon it can make it happen, but I do anticipate having to put in some time this afternoon and some other days this week to actually make it happen. It's just the nature of the beast. It is the time of year. It's not always easy to come out here and just catch fish in the winter. I've got some shrimp and some synthetics out. Let's get to fishing. I even brought a chair today, which I, I don't ever do. I don't bring chairs because usually I'm more concerned about staying busy, but with as slow as the fishing is going to be, I'm just gonna take a seat and relax and hope for a fish. We're not working hard today. Just hoping to get lucky. I literally just threw this line out here and we might be getting the bite we were looking for. He'll get on there. Go, baby. Okay, if you saw that, that might have been that might have been a black drum. It it dropped it. It put some slack in it. I reeled in the slack. Fish was gone, and then I just let the bait. I'm letting the bait sit where where it fell, hoping that maybe it was still around. But I just recasted that line out, and I don't I don't know for sure. You know, it could have been a. Sometimes when stingrays swim by like if they get caught in your line it kind of looks like that but also these black drum when they're biting it looks like that so obviously without hooking up or catching the fish no way to know but that might have been what we were hoping for okay i j i haven't hooked up on a uh fish up close all afternoon on the steelhead rods and this just took off I was just closing out this section. There we go. Decent little whiting there. Right here at the end of the day. Not bad. He uh, he, did, he didn't want to eat until it got dark out here. See you, buddy. Fred, Fred is still on the prowl. All right, while I'm taking down, I may just throw out my up close rods. Just leave those out. Well, we, we did not get skunked. <laughs> Croakers and whitings, hey man, you know, or a whiting. Oh my goodness, look at that! Holy smokes! <laughs> I'm, I'm packing it in and uh, the bite is going crazy up close now. My goodness. Decent hit there from this whiting. There we go. I mean, hey, he's not bad. Probably about 12. Thank you, buddy. Beautiful skies. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is to be continued. Don't tune away just yet. More to come. Hopefully, the next time I'm out here, we'll be hooking in to a big fish. You caught a fish yet? Not yet. I got something messing with us. Looks like you I'm got sure a. Sure, I know what it is. Yeah, looks like you got a croaker. Beautiful morning. Yeah. Well, Brad and I made a move. We were at a location that the only thing happening was croakers nibbling our baits to death. So we have changed locations. It's very slow. We brought chairs with us again, like I did the other day. And we're just gonna sit and let our ghost shrimp soak. It looks like we are croaker free at this location, which is a good thing because we want these ghost shrimp just to sit out here and find a fish that swims by. If something swims by, black drum, redfish, pompano, any of it, they will eat this ghost shrimp. It puts off a load of scent, and I'm just using this as miracle thread in case you're wondering. I've talked about it before. It's just like an elastic type stuff. I use it for the ghost shrimp because they're a very soft bait. 
Go, go. Uh, well, it's slack. It might be there. Oh, 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 oh. Brad, it's a fish. It, and it's on my light setup too, and it's a big fish. Oh, I don't want to lose this thing, man. I'm like, I'm pretty it's freaking giant for the first fish of the day. I'm pretty nervous right now. This is on my steelhead on my 10 pound, 10 pound. And uh, we got a big fish and a little hook. And, and if I'm being completely honest, I've had this rig tied on for a really long time <laughs> when, when, when I probably should have uh, changed it out. So uh, I, I'm, I'm extremely nervous right now. This, this fish, this fish may not stay on. Just don't mess it up. I, you know, normally this is why beach bomb's the best. No, <laughs> normally I wouldn't care that much, but like if 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 only you knew how much time. <laughs> We've literally been fishing. What time is it? It's four o'clock. Like. What's that? Almost 10 hours. Yeah. We've been on the beach today. This is obviously edited and I have not, um, I have not done We're like five minutes in the video. Right yeah, now. I know. <laughs> oh my goodness. So like if I lose this fish, I'm going to cry. And, and there, there's a good possibility that I'm going to, cause <laughs> I'm not prepared, He's but going back that way. I'm I've got my drag really loose. I am not trying to horse this fish at all. Like I'm going to give it as much time as it wants and uh we're, we're gonna we're gonna play this thing real soft and hopefully he tires out eventually is that like a 1000 size reel it, well it's a two it's a two like based on how it's fighting i'm pretty sure i know what it is yeah. uh pretty confident and i i don't know why he couldn't bite one of my bigger rigs <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> With an even tastier bait on it. <laughs> I know. Yeah. With a little shrimp. Yeah, we've got ghost shrimp on on our other two two lines here. And this is just uh, some frozen dead regular shrimp, white shrimp or whatever they call it. He's coming in now. Hopefully, uh... oh gosh, okay. Yeah, he's, he's still fighting a little bit. Yeah, this is a teeny tiny hook. This is a, oh gosh, there he goes. This, this is a size two circle. This is my whiting setup. This is what I try to catch whiting with, not a uh, 20 pound fish. Maybe I'm fighting a bird. <laughs> I just saw that up, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I was just talking about a bird today. Yeah, we, we've got a lot of birds around, a lot of loons or whatever these things are. I'm pretty sure it's not a bird. I, I don't think so. Good gracious. <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah. We can do a catch and catch. <laughs> yeah. it, it's always got to be the... Oh, there it's he is. Bird. It's not a bird. It's not a bird. It's not a bird. All right, fit. I need this fish. On the whiting rig, man. Good gracious. Brad, this might just be the fish that I've wanted to catch. This is the one. For a long time. You've and been struggling to find one. And uh, it has taken a really long time. And, and of course, he, he makes it as difficult as he possibly can <laughs> by biting this rig. It's a monster. It's a beast. This is always the hardest part of surf fishing. Fortunately, we don't have too large of surf, but uh, when they get close to the beach, obviously they, they don't want to come on this sand. And so they, they do everything in their power, whatever strength they have left to not come up on the beach. And you're kind of at a bad angle. You know, a lot of times I've, I've lost these big fish before where they try to turn around and dart and they hit your mono because they've got such sharp dorsal fins and it'll pop your leader, especially when you only have 10 pound leader on here. But hopefully you can see this fish in the GoPro here. We've got, we've got a nice black drum. He's, he's, not a, uh, he's not a giant, but he's a decent fish. 
and uh, I'm very very excited to hopefully land this guy that was the tricky part. yeah th this is the hard part right here Brad try to get him on the beach here just nice and easy there we go there we go wow thanks Brad I did it, you did it. On, on the tiny hook and the widening rig that's 10 pound mono and a uh, size 2 circle hook and this is probably an 18 to 20 ish pound black drum I have finally caught a black drum. I've put in so many hours trying to find this fish. Brad, you're my good luck charm today. <laughs> Thank you for coming with me. You just had to book a bucket surfish. That's right. <laughs> I'll make sure I tip you. Shameless plug. <laughs> tip you really good. If you're wanting to book a surf fishing trip, check out Brad. I've got a link to his channel in the description below. Finally got it done on the on the light setup. We'll get her back. That's a black black drum. All right. Thank you for the fight. Thank you for biting my little shrimp. There you go. Woo! Yes. How's it feel to get the monkey off your back? Man, it's it's been a long time coming. It, it's it's been tough. I feel uh, I feel great, Brad. It feels really good. Nice. <laughs> I don't know how many attempts I've made coming out here this winter in hopes of catching a big redfish or a big black drum off the beach, but it's been a decent amount. <laughs> it has finally happened. And that fish came, I've got three rods out. I've got two that are out further with ghost shrimp. And then that one was just up close. And when I say up close, if I'm having to guess, it's maybe 20 to 25 yards off of the beach, if that with just a little piece of shrimp on, I say a widening rig that's a 10 pound, like 10 pound fluorocarbon with just a bead and a size two circle hook. Really small setup and that's what won. And something up close, small setup. I've said that several times in a lot of videos. I, I love fishing close. Where whiting generally hang out, that's where you're gonna find a lot of your species. A lot of your black drum, redfish, whiting, flounder, a lot, a lot of those things hang out a lot closer in than further out. If we had only bombed baits out today, probably never would have caught that fish. It's funny, I would say this a lot when I was guiding to people that wanted to run trips with me this time of year. It's, it's February as I'm filming this, like January, February. If you still wanted to go, I would take you. We may only get one bite, but it's gonna be a good one. And me and Brad have been out here literally all day. And I think I've personally had two bites uh, we, I had something nibble at it, looked like a whiting a while ago, and then that bite, and it was a black drum. So it's very true. You can sit out here all day, you can soak baits, and you may not get anything, but if you do get a bite a lot of the times, it's pretty decent. I'm really stoked to get that fish. I put a lot of time and effort into it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, you stay bummy.